Hi, I'm Kurt. And hi, I'm Scott. And today we're going to show you the multi-clean floor maintenance system. This will include daily, weekly, and monthly procedures. In prior videos, we've shown you how to deep scrub and re-coat your floor. We've shown you how to strip and wax your floors. Well, today we're going to show you how to maintain those floors. It's important to maintain your floors in a clean, bright, and safe manner. This will extend the length of time between strip outs and the length of time between scrub and recoats. So let's get started. Floor maintenance starts right at your front door. It's important to vacuum your entry mats once or more per day. Daily, you need to dust mop your floors to remove the dirt that's accumulated throughout the day. As you're doing this, you also need to pay special attention to any gum or tickets that are stuck to the floor and remove those as well. Dust mopping your floors is the most important step of a good maintenance program. Now it's time to clean our floors and to do this I'm going to be using a 26 inch auto scrubber equipped with red scrub pads. We're also used in the tank, the mixing tank, we've diluted 2 ounces per gallon Century Maintenance Neutral Cleaner. And I'll follow you damp mopping up the spots and damp mopping any areas that you can't reach. What I'm doing here is called spray buffing. That's a method of bringing the shine back on very hard finishes that are not burnishable. We're going to spray buff by applying a thin mist of buffing clean. I'm going to buff that into a haze and then into a shine. Using a burnishable finish such as Fortress, Prime Shine Ultra, Decade 90, or Splendor, you, after you clean the floors, you need to burnish them. This you can do as much as daily or as little as weekly, depending on your conditions and depending on the finish that you choose. Today I'm using a 2400 RPM electric burnisher equipped with a combination floor pad. You can also use a battery burnisher or a propane burnisher. This time I'm mopping on a coat of RSB diluted 5 to 1 with water. RSB is a mop on restore that you can use when just burnishing doesn't bring back the gloss that you're used to. You can mop on a coat of RSB, allow it to dry to a haze, and then burnish it to a brilliant gloss.
This area had dirt that had been ground into the floor. I used Energize Plus, spray burnished, and took the, the dirt out and gave a new shine to the floor. And then the final step in a good maintenance program is to make sure that you dust mop your floors. Well, thank you for joining us in today's video presentation. We'll see you again soon. See you later. Hi, I'm Kurt. And hi, I'm Scott. And today we're going to show you... And I am too. Floor maintenance starts right at the front door. Keep your mats as clean as possible by vacuuming once or more per day in the auto scrubber. And as you auto scrub, I'll damp mop up any spots you leave and any areas you don't reach. As well. Now I'm applying RSB, which is our mop on restore, diluted 5 to 1. This is used in if you have a burnishable floor finish such as Prime Shine Ultra, Fortress, Decade 90, or Splendor, after you clean the floor you need to burnish it daily or weekly depending on the finish that you choose. <laughs> I love you. I was just going to follow it. <laughs> well, I, I remember. Very nice. Okay, let's start going.